If you've seen my latest haul video, you already know that I bought this farm from HomeSense and it was £12 in clearance. The colour is a bit too rustic for me, too farmhousey, so I'm going to paint it in white and decorate with it. If you want to see how it turns up, just keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and enjoying your day so far. And if you're new visiting my channel for the first time, hello, my name is Shule and I really love creating home decor to go with my home, mainly glam and slightly a bit shabby chic as well, using happy colors. So in today's video, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel for more inspirational as well as relaxing videos. In today's video, I'm super excited to participate in a collab called Home Tweet Home, hosted by two lovely ladies, Leah over at the Janker Necker, probably I'm not pronouncing it right, and Annie over at the Indie Annie Jones. If you're not familiar with their channels, links will be below. They have gorgeous channels. Go and say that I sent you there and subscribe while you're at it. As I have white furniture in the living room, I decided to use white spray paint and I made sure that it is all coated inside and outside and I achieved that look after two goes, so I used two layers. I'm really really happy with the outcome, I love it and it has so many design potentials and I cannot wait to go inside and decorate with it. I'm going to be reusing one of my floral foam and for this challenge we have to have a bird inside so this is going to be my bird lilac-y pink that I bought from TK Maxx last year. I'm just making sure that it fits inside and it does a bit snug but still and now I'm going to select floral and some greenery to put around the bird. Thank you so much ladies, I really enjoyed participating on this challenge. And now let me show you how it's looking close up. And I really love the way it looks. I hit all the uh, traces of floral foam using the foliage as well as floral arrangement. And I'm just going to now try to put the cage on. Everything fits perfectly. Now I'm going to decorate the top using these beautiful ribbons. I don't know which one I'm going to use at this stage and you're just going to see the process. It was really trial and error at this stage because I didn't know what I was doing. In the end, I got there. I'm really happy with the end results. Now that I know where I'm going with this, I'm going to hot glue the pieces in place.
everything is glued now I'm going to remove it and sort out my ribbons and again I don't know what I'm doing but I was happy with the end result as I said None of the ribbons were wired but I tried to do some loops and then I tied all of them with a white pipe cleaner. I knit in the edges so it wouldn't fray and it would look nice and attractive as well. So I've done this one to all of them. And now I'm going to add these pearl picks that I bought from AliExpress and I will use two pinks and two whites to coordinate with the top. And here is the close-up view. I am in love with this arrangement. It's perfect for any occasion and I placed it on my Lazy Susan to give it a little bit glam look and it could be used as a wedding centerpiece as well for any special occasion or just part of the vignette. So I think that's how I'm going to be using it. Even without the cage, it is really attractive arrangement and I just need you to tell me what you think of it. Do you think it's too shabby chic or do you think it goes with my home decor? I cannot wait to see your comments. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it inspirational for your own DIY projects. If you did, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to inspire you more and don't forget to visit the playlist to see what other participants came up with and until the next video bye bye